I'm dumb. Basically, when it comes to furniture, I am just horrible at it. Like I know, I feel like people could just keep trying so hard to find reasons to hate on like authors and books. Hello, beautiful friends and fellow word lovers. Please do not mind my face or the fact that I'm wearing the same thing I was wearing in my last video. <laughs> um, but welcome, welcome to the video. Today's video is just gonna be a quick little reading vlog and I was gonna do a vlog over last weekend, but I just wasn't feeling it. Wasn't vibing with the vlogging thing. I just, yeah, I just didn't want to. Um, but it is currently Tuesday, June 8th. I'm just sitting in my studio room. Um, and I wanted to give you guys a little reading update and I just wanted to talk to you guys about a couple of things that are going on and yeah, I just figured now was a good time, as good a time as any to do a vlog. So, so for my reading, um, I have finished two books so far this month and today's the eighth. Uh, the first book that I finished was House by the Cerulean Sea by TJ Klune. I really liked it, it was super cute, and I think all the controversy that people have surrounding that book right now is, I don't want to say this, but I feel like it's a little bit contrived, like, I don't know, I feel like people could just keep trying so hard to find reasons to hate on, like, authors and books, and I just, like, I think it's important to be sensitive to things that people have gone through and how those things might affect them and everything, but, like, it's a story about a magical orphanage and about kids like magical kids and it's more I think it's more meant to be heartwarming and more meant to be hopeful than it is to be like talking commenting on any specific event anyway that's my take on the controversy I don't usually talk about stuff like that but I just I just want to say like I think we should just all stop being so quick to find reasons to hate on people and just you know look for the good in things and like obviously people are doing things that are genuinely hurtful and problematic like yeah they should be called out, out on it i would definitely believe that 100 percent. but i just don't really feel like this was that situation anyway so yeah so that was the first book that i finished and then the second book was i'm grabbing it the goldfinch by donna tart i finished it today it took me one week to read this beautiful thing and it was just like what a masterpiece of Donna Tart literally continues to blow me away every like every second that I'm reading her stuff because like she's just incredible an incredible incredible writer like I she's the kind of writer that I read her books and I despair of ever being like ever being as good as her like I don't I don't know like certain books make me want to write books and this book makes me just despair of ever writing anything even close to as good as this so but it was incredible just like oh there's I don't know I'm planning on posting a review on my Instagram tomorrow I thought I had a cute idea to like take a photo with it and stuff and do a little review so I thought that would be fun but for right now I will just say it was incredible I think I loved it more than the secret history actually I just I don't know I just connected with it on such a deep emotional level like the secret history was more of like a dreamy sort of like it was definitely thought-provoking and deep but it was more of like a dreamy escape of a read and this book was like painfully real for me and just like brought so much stuff to the surface and just like made me think about so many things and like Theo, the main character, I just love him on like so deeply. Like it's crazy to me how she can make such characters that are such like questionable people, but make them so lovable. And I think especially the fact that I we were following Theo from such a young age and throughout his life really helped with that. Like really helped you just like root for him and feel for him and just like he's like the most traumatized character ever and he's just his life is so sad and there are definitely a lot of heavy themes in this book so like definitely a lot of trigger warnings be cautious of it um but yeah it was so so good so that is what i have to say about that um and then i just barely posted an instagram story on my instagram to have people vote on what i should read next so let me show you guys the options so my two options i've got these violent delights by chloe gong and the night circus by aaron morgenstern um these violent delights is a library book so Practically, I should probably start this one first because it's actually due back like next week, I think. 
Um, no, yeah, end of next week. So I still have time, and I can definitely finish it in that time. Like, it's not, like, I finish books this size in, like, three or four days. Um, but yeah, and then I also have The Night Circus, which I'm super excited to read. So I'm having my followers on Instagram vote on what I should read next, so I'll let you guys know what they say. But, um, yeah, and then as far as, like, classics go, I also want to start Les Mis. I have it up here on my top shelf. I want to start Les Mis. Actually, I want to start it tonight. Um, cause again, like I talked about in my June to your TBR video, my goal is to start Les Mis in June and finish it in July. So if I'm going to start it in June, I should probably start it soon. So I think I'm just going to start it tonight. Um, tonight is kind of an off night for me. I don't have like a whole ton of stuff to do tonight. So I feel like tonight is a good night to start Les Mis, but I also want to do some writing this evening as well. So there's going to be a few different things that we're talking about. So yeah, I'm just going to stack up my books here on the ground. The Goldfinch I'm going to put back on the bookshelf because I'm taking a picture with it tomorrow. It's going to have a little photo shoot with me. And then while I'm showing you guys things in here, I thought I would show you my new shelves that actually came in. Um, so... Uh, for those of you that have come over to this channel from my husband's channel, Coconut Brick Studios, you probably recognize these shelves. He bought a bunch of these Ikea shelves for his studio, and then he bought me one, like, little shelving unit. They're basically just really customizable shelves that you can change the size of, the height of. They're super customizable. I got just the two side units, and then I got these, I think there's, like, five shelves yeah no four there's four shelves here so I might show you guys me putting this together as well because the reason that I wanted to get these shelves is because I don't know they're just really cute and I needed more room for books because as you can see this bookshelf is pretty full um and I just wanted to like put cute things on it and make it cute like I don't know I wanted to get some more string lights get some more plants just some little cute figurines or something I don't know I need to go shopping but Right now I don't really have any money, so now's not a great time to do it, but eventually I want to go shopping and get a bunch of cute little things and just like make a super cute shelf that I can film in front of because I feel like it will look a lot better than this one as much as I love this bookshelf, which by the way I have had since I was like 10 years old. I've This is a very old bookshelf and it also has like drawers at the bottom. So yeah, anyway, I'm rambling a lot, but that is that. Okay, so now that I've shown you that, um, I can talk about my plans for the night for a little bit. So this is just like a really chill, raw vlog of me just doing stuff on a weeknight. I don't know. Um, but it's like 7.30 right now. And I've been looking over my video ideas for this month. And I was just kind of like not obsessed with any of them. So I'm going to have to like figure out what I want to do for videos this month. Um, but I want to do some writing this evening. And I'm currently working on a short story. Um, I don't know why I held these up. This is my YouTube notebook that I plan YouTube stuff in. And then this one I was just journaling in. Um, but I am currently working on a short story. And I have entitled it Dead Flowers in the Sand. I really like the title. I got it from a Glass Animal song. So I can't really take credit for the title. Because I did get it from a song lyric. But I am writing it, and it's about, it's sort of a love story, sort of not a love story, about a guy who kills his wife. So yeah, that's, it's, you know, it's dark. But um, I've been writing it for a little bit. I have about 13 pages on Google Docs right now. So I wanted to work on that a little bit. And I think what I'm going to do is just like set myself a timer for a certain amount of time to work on writing. And then I think I'm going to start Les Mis after that because that's my other goal for tonight is to start Les Mis.
Hi, hello. So it is a couple of days later, two days later, um, and I'm currently working on <clears throat> putting together those shelves that are in my room. But I messed up, as I do pretty much any time I try to put furniture together. Um, I messed up because <laughs> I was trying to figure out why the shelves were crooked, and it's because I had them one of them was upside down, one of the sides. So I managed like to take one of the shelves one of the out, sides was upside down. but the other ones, um, as you can see, they're not matched up, like this side here and this side here. Yeah, so I'm... I'm dumb. Basically, when it comes to furniture, I am just horrible at it. Like. I don't know. Logic. I'm not good at logic, I guess. <laughs> but, um, yeah. And then when I was trying to take this one out, the part of the shelf that, so I'm going to have my husband help me take it apart and put it back together. But, um, in the meantime, I thought I would give you guys a quick update on my reading for this month. I wanted to film last night, but I didn't because I was busy and there was a lot going on. But, um, I had a really lovely night last night though. My friend came over and we hung out and watched Little Women, so that was really fun. Um, but on Tuesday when I last filmed, I put an Instagram poll up of which book I should read next out of These Violent Delights or The Night Circus. And The Night Circus won by a lot. It was like 87% voted for The Night Circus, which I don't blame them, because I'm really excited about this book. But, um, I was thinking about it and I was like I should probably start this one first because again it's a library book and like I don't know I'm like more excited to read this one and so I kind of wanted to wait to read it until after. But yesterday I started These Violent Delights. There's like a huge glare on it because it has like that glossy library cover but um, I started it yesterday and so far I have to admit I'm super super bored like I just I don't know I'm just not feeling it. I'm only on chapter four I think. Um, but it's like so far it's just so boring and I can already see like I'm not I don't know I'm, I don't like the writing style and for me the writing style in a book is like the most important factor of whether or not I'm gonna like the book um, if I don't like the writing style I'm probably not gonna enjoy it and this writing style is just I don't know it's not super oh uh, what am I trying to say it's just it's kind of confusing and like things are worded a little bit odd like almost in a way of like I don't know if English is her first language the author um I don't know if it is or not or if she I don't I mean like she's you know obviously fluent in English but there's certain the characters I'm just really not connecting with them I don't really understand them or their motivations or like anything about them and I know I'm not very far into the book yet but I feel like I should already have kind of a clear picture at this point of like what kind of characters I'm reading about and I just don't feel like I do um they feel pretty like flat to me so I don't know I'm having a really really hard time getting through it and I'm not giving up on it I just and I want to like it um but just it's so far it's not really like what I expected it to be I expected it to be a lot more atmospheric a lot more I don't know there's a lot of telling not showing I've noticed which kind of bugs me and like I just I don't know I've I was expecting it to be like way different and it's just not what I was expecting so a little disappointed about that so today I always when I leave the house for the day I always pick a book so today I decided to pick the night circus just to see if I could you know get into more of a reading mood because I could not get myself to really read these violent delights yesterday um, so I started reading The Night Circus today, and so far I'm a couple chapters and the chapters are really short. Um, so I'm not super far into it. So far I do really like it, like the writing style is nice and the story is interesting. Um, we have a little girl who's the daughter of a magician and a little boy who gets taken from an orphanage by another magician and the two of them are training the boy and the girl so that one day they can like duel against each other. Um, in some kind of magical competition not really sure about the details yet but that's basically what's happened so far and um so far it's good i really like it but i feel like i like put myself into a bit of a reading slump yesterday when i was trying to read these violent delights 
because today I was just not in a reading mood and I'm not in a reading mood right now like I just have no motivation to read right now and I don't know why I just feel like I'm in a reading slump now even though I have all these books to read I'm just not feeling like it so anyway that was my reading update um, I think part of the reason why I'm having a hard time getting into these books is because the goldfinch I just finished reading the goldfinch and it was just so excellent and so amazing and like after reading that it's like almost everything else kind of falls flat you know so I kind of wish that I had waited to read the goldfinch until later in the month but oh well can't be helped now I should probably I just realized I should probably get bookends because I don't the shelves don't have sides so I don't know how I'm gonna get the books to stay but we'll see anyway yeah I'm hoping to like make a really cute little shelf that I can put stuff on and like film in front of so it'll be a work in progress but yeah um, anyway, I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe as well. If you feel like joining this pocket of poetry community on YouTube, um, let me know down below what you're reading right now and I will see you guys in the next video.